I started playing tennis round about grade three. That was still when it was mini tennis, so we didn't even play on a full court. It was just half a court with small nets and big balls so that we can actually hit it. And um, I decided that I wanted to play tennis. I don't know, it just looked fun. And I told my parents that I want to play. And they said I have to buy my, my own racket so that they know that I'm committed and I really want to do it. And from the moment I started, I just... I remember she was grade five and she played against a grade seven girl in primary school for the champs. And that day, she, the girl beat her, but the girl came off the court and she said it's, it was the greatest game and Anna's such a small girl and she's impressed and oh, she's gonna do well. So that was a, a nice moment. So the proudest moment must have been when Anna was chosen as one of the 12 girls for the national team and we've got to see what's gonna happen next. So this year at USA, um, I was elected into the SA uh, University squad. Um, so 12 girls were elected and now we're having trials in April 2019 and then they're choosing four girls. We are going, well, if I'm there, to Italy for the University World Games. I must say tennis is an interesting sport in that sense because team spirit is something you have to build on your own. It's an individual sport and if you win, you win on your own. If you lose, you lose on your own. Especially, I don't play a lot of doubles. When you play doubles, that helps because you have another team partner and you guys can motivate each other. And I think that's what I actually enjoy about tennis is that challenge. You, you and only you can motivate yourself. She's dedicated and hard working and therefore she will make it. Training team starts with the warm up, so mini tennis, and then we move backwards and hit a couple of ground strokes, and then from there, once she's warmed up finally, we start our session. The training that she do, does here is to train under pressure, and this to prepare her better for competition. I place her under as much pressure as possible, so that it can be easy for her in competition. So the training is just the fitness. You have to be able to endure long and tough times. So yeah, with the private coaching, it's, that's quite intense because I mean at squad, it's more than, it's not just you, it's a lot of, a group of people. Yeah, it's just you. So with, whether it's an hour or two hours, you have to be able to endure that whole hour on your own and the focus is on you the whole time. But I enjoy that because it gives you more individual uh, attention and then you can really just play your best. Obviously, when they start doing exercise, when they start practicing and going to practice camps, uh, I think it's going to be a great experience for her. She's, apparently, they're going to be practicing on clay, which is grand. And I think just the experience, if, whether she makes it as one of the four girls um, or not, I think the experience is going to be great. She's going to learn a lot. And obviously she's going to grow not only as a tennis player, but also as a person.